Hi guys, I'm Carl Taylor. Now in this video, you're gonna see this photograph. Um, you're gonna see this picture and how I shoot this picture. Uh, let me just zoom in on it for you. There's a few details here to do with the highlights on the uh, bottle here, on the edge of the cap, the background glow, the illumination on the label, um, lots of things to uh, talk about here. You're gonna see exactly how I shot that in this video. Stay tuned to the end and I'm gonna give you a little bit of extra information uh, relative to uh, this particular shot. So as on this uh, product shot, I'm just using uh, a soft box, a 30 by 120 through the side here, mm -hmm. diffusing it through a sheet of frosted perspex uh, to get this lovely line of light, this diffused light down the uh, side and neck of the bottle. If you take the diffuser away, it's just too sharp, or why you, do you use it? Well, yeah, absolutely. The light from the softbox will be a very clean, sharp edge line um, and too defined in the bottle. And I just okay. want to get a more feathered, diffused light. And then uh, on my surface here, I've just got a reflective surface to give a mirror image of the, uh, the bottle in that okay. surface. That's just a, a mirror? No, it's not a mirror. No, it's, a, it's actually a sheet of high gloss metal. It's polished metal, and it just gives a very clean reflection sometimes with a mirror you know you get that double image reflection course, yeah, yeah, so this right. gives you a single image and then um, on the front additionally i've got a light these pico lights with the projection attachments on that's just illuminating our labels here and here and um yeah just pr yeah, just yeah, basically right. yeah, uh, concentrating that beam of light and then that lovely glow of light that's coming through the back giving us the back lighting through the bottle if we go mm -hmm. around and take a look at that so basically I've just got a standard um, dish on the light and a honeycomb grid and that's just putting that ball of light through the, uh, the frosted perspex right. um, and giving us that result. I've seen you playing with the, the focusing. Yes, yeah, because the, uh, the Pulso uh, light has the focus adjustment, I can adjust the beam and the feather of the light a little bit. So what I do is I experiment with the feather of the light and mm. also pushing the light backwards and forwards to get the, the best okay. result. And so the focusing is like a fine adjustment of the, of the grid and on the, on, the, on the light beam. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's uh, try and get a couple of shots. So I'm just going to give you this piece of silver carders. Right. If you can just bounce a little bit of light onto the uh, neck of the bottle Something for me. like this. Something like that. Yep, that looks about right. And let's focus. And yeah, that's looking good. I saw you spraying the bottle before, Carl. Yeah, it's a special uh, mixture we give to just give it this uh, cold look, the sort of condensation oh, one, look. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's solid. It yeah, it, it sets uh, it sets rock hard, so the droplets don't move and then they don't uh, evaporate. Great. Um, it's a special mixture that we create to put on the bottles. How do you create it? Tell me. Uh, well, <laughs> that's the secret, Urs. You'll, ah, you'll have to check out our pro-level training and uh, oh. find out our best secrets. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I want to show you a couple more things on the photo to make it totally clear um, with that tutorial uh, what I was talking about. Let's just take a look at the image again. So here is the Bacardi bottle that I shot. Have a look at this highlight on the bottle here. You see that lovely feathered highlight that's going on there. That is because of the gradient lighting that's caused by the diffused perspex that I use. So rather than just using the soft box, I used a sheet of perspex in front of that. Now that could have been diffusion material on the roll, but it's that diffusion material in that place that gives this highlight. Let's take a look at that. So you can see that lovely feathered highlight, which means you don't get that clear stripy line. And you can see it also apparent on the side of the bottle there. The 
Highlight on the top neck and cap of the bottle there, that was purely from the mirror that my colleague Oars held in position. The lighting that you can see coming through the bottle is from the light at the back, which is also causing that lovely gradient, radiant, uh, radial glow in the background. And then the lighting um, here on the label is caused by the small projection attachment lights that I've got shining into um, onto the front of that label. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, short tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.